Another thing they begin to they 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 they, they, they do the another meaning of brainwashing is coercive persuasion. Coercive persuasion is when they make you they they they, they walk around you, walk around you, and make you to agree with them. So they just make sure to agree with them. For example, they might be telling you that uh, you see, are you you are not successful now, and, and you know yourself, you know you are not successful. Uh -huh. You are not successful because of your relatives. You remember, is there no uh, old man in your old woman in your village? Uh -huh. Are you not from a polygamous family? And you yourself, you know you are from a polygamous family. Uh -huh. What about the other woman? Is she not? Are their are children not this? Are your children not? Those are cohesive persuasion. They begin to persuade you by making you to agree with them. Do we have calls? Anybody who knows, you know, there is the difference between this series is that we are going to be receiving calls as I'm going. So if you know what psychological persuasion means and you have experienced it or seen it, please call in right now. Or if you know what thought reform means and you have seen it in action, please call in to move agents. Or if you know what mind control means, go to move agents on Facebook Messenger and write and you can call in to explain to us your own experience about this. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Yes, Charles. Good, I'm, I'm good hearing evening. you, sir. All right. My name is Charles. From yes. Manchester. Okay, sir. Yeah. Um, more, more grace to your help, sir. Another great uh, topic today. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about power of suggestion and uh, persuasion. Yes. Uh, this happens to me. Yeah. Um, that was in Spain. Uh, that, uh, on that very day, I went with a friend to an African store where we buy some African stores, you know. And uh, I met this lady. Are, are you here, sir? Oh, very well, very well. Yeah, I met this lady. But immediately we entered, he, she greeted us and said that uh, she wants to talk to us. She wants to talk to us. She wants to push to us. We were interested. Uh, she said, right on. Without, with, without any talking, she just said, uh, my friend, she has, uh, I mean, he, he has some problems. And uh, he, he needs to go for some fasting for some days and uh, no blah, blah, blah. Okay, no worries. The guy said, okay, no worries. Thank you very much, man. Then, he, he, then she turned to me. He said on my own case, uh, she saw a star, a very bright star. But there's something that is holding me back. Uh, what I need to do now is I have to, I have to lie down and roll about seven times. That is all what I need to do. I said, and I asked her, you mean I should bad I should I should lie down here right now in this store to roll for you for seven days for seven times? <laughs> seven times. He said she said yes. It's okay. So when she saw the way I was I was kind of asking asking her if okay, okay, if you know you cannot do it here in public, I think there's another room inside this store. We can come out. I know, I said, wait, no worries. But it's like you are telling me I should bad to you, isn't it? <laughs> he said, no, you're not buying, you're, you're not, you're not buying for me, just, you have to do that, oh, I see, I, I see nobody have problem, I'm the only one that have problem in the world, <laughs> you know, I thank God, thank God that that very day, I walked with my senses, so I overcome her, I didn't, I didn't do all that she did, you know what happened, this lady came from Nigeria with some archives, huh. and uh, with, with some archives, and she dis she divided those handkerchiefs to those girls that go to to streets and 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 do their sex or hawking on, Pros on the street. Prostitution. Yeah, yeah. And she she has the I don't know I don't, I don't really know what she what she asked them to do. But I was I was later told that she asked them to to bring the handkerchief after some certain days or something. So it's like some returned the handkerchief and some did not return the handkerchief. Some traveled with it or wherever they went to. So she now went back to Nigeria. With the one she collected, lo and behold, she got mad. Ooh. Yeah. So the story was that the anchor she's given to her was not complete when she returned. So because the anchor was not complete, so she got mad. So everything turned back to her. So those are those are so she, what she was trying to use on me was what, what exactly what you are saying now. What she the power of situation telling me I have problem as if nobody have problem in the world. Try to persuade me to do what that is not in me. I thank you very much, sir, for, for this topic. And I believe many, and you are going to receive a lot of calls because no, I believe out of 1,000, one, almost everybody have gone through this stage. Wow, thank you, sir, thank you so much. 
So I've said, I've said, let's see the list of what brainwashing is or what hypnotism is. Hypnotism means brainwashing, number one. Number two, hypnotism also means mind control. Number three, hypnotism means thought reform, psychological persuasion, coercive persuasion, thought control. The next meaning of uh, hypnotism is thought control. So thought control is when people condition you. It's very similar to mind control. But thought control, when you are even afraid of thinking something, thought control means that, you know, even you yourself, you yourself, you are not allowing yourself to think. All these people, they are controlling your thought. Not through some, not through the, when they are away, but through people around you. Okay, when you want to say something, your mother will say, ah, don't say so. Ah, it's the man of God. When you want to say something, your sister or your wife will say, ah, don't say that. It's thought control. They, that's how they strip you of your power. They strip you of your energy. They strip you of your independence. So if you want to say something, say, ah, don't say that. Something will happen to you, or you will go mad, or God will punish you, or don't touch my anointed, or don't do something. It's called thought control. And then another thing is mental control. You see the whole list of what hypnotism is? Mental control. They begin the same thing. They control your mind, your senses. Hello, we have the caller. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. The SCN family, how are you doing, sir? Very good. Who is calling? This is Williams Gira, calling from Pennsylvania in USA. Okay. Is it this topic of today? I have been to a church. Yes. Yeah, the pastor is a master manipulator, he's a professor. Yes. I can write a whole book on this topic that you are talking today. If not, is it? Because of two minutes, I will just give you an, just one example. I remember very well, there is one topic he used to teach well in the church, and that is while Jesus was teaching, his family member came to seek him, that is, they should go home. And Jesus said, this is my family, the people in the church. And guess what? If you go to, I'm going to mention the name of the church, too. Yes. So I don't care what anybody says. The church I'm talking about is called God's Remnant Assembly Church. In, in, it's in Bowie, in the state of Maryland, in USA. Okay. I used to live in Maryland before. I'm in Pennsylvania now, but I shot between the two states now. I live in both states. So I'm talking about Pennsylvania. So, in the church, this church, 80% of the members are people under the age of 30. And most of them are born in America. They have been hypnotized. So, yeah. They believe, he has made them to believe that because of what Jesus said to his father and mother. So their spiritual father takes authority over them. So he's actually he, making them to raise him over his, their own parents. He's, I'm, going to give you, I'm going to give you many examples. Hmm. There was a boy in that church sometime last year. Yes. He had a scholarship to go to a school in Texas. Okay. This boy defied to go. He refused to go. He oh. defied the social experience until his parents come to talk to him. Come. And they are to be a, I'm telling you. Come to talk to the pastor. Yes. Before this boy now agree. But why did the boy defy? Go. Why did the, the boy, boy leave the boy to go to, to Texas? Why is it the boy he didn't want to go before? <laughs> why is it the boy didn't want to go? Because of the teaching. Because of the pastor. To believe that he has control over them that they have to respect their spiritual father before their, their, their physical father. And he used to say that because that their devil is his father in the Lord, he exalted him over his physical father. That the respect he gave him is so idea that, you know, there was a time we had a program so many years ago, about three years ago, that uh, Pastor Debo came. So he used to show picture where he lied down for that devil in the, in the rain. He said, you see that respect I gave to him? That's not a year that he exalted his father and the Lord. So he has bring what their father and the Lord is who they should. Even he, 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 when, when he goes to the schools and the students call the pastor, he says they cannot call the father and the Lord. That is the father and the Lord. As the father and the Lord, he has authority. So the parents of this boy have to come and plead with him before he can allow this boy to go. Even anybody that comes to that place, so much. You want to, want to go to the school of Maryland, thank you so much. 
Thank you so okay. much. Thank you so much, sir. You know, this is no more a church. What we are seeing right now is not a church. These people are hypnotized and they don't know it. These people have been brainwashed. These people have been oppressed. They have been taken advantage of all these churches. And that's what is happening in the African churches. Of course, there are remnants, but most of the African churches, this is what they are doing to their people. They are taking advantage of people of God. They are brainwashing it. Look at the way they are dragging people on the floor. They are just mistreating people like slaves, like they are not human beings. People are just being taken advantage of. And this is not the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go back to the notes, please. This is not the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is hypnotism. This is brainwash. This is thought reform. This is psychological persuasion. This is coercive persuasion, thought control, mental control. This is what we're witnessing. Look at next point. I am compelled to address this topic because of all the stories I hear coming out of African churches these days. What could make people to go eat grass? This is the answer here. It is witchcraft through hypnotism. What, let's go and see how witchcraft is being used on people to the extent that people are even going to eat grass. We saw a video today, and I want to show you this video, and you will not believe all the crazy stuff going on in the church in the name of you know Christianity. Do we have callers? Okay, let's, let's listen to the caller. Uh, okay, let's listen to this video here. As we are, the callers are coming, the calls are coming. Celebrity Jesus. Now, I can, we're supposed to eat the bread, but they're going to eat special bread before they eat this. If Jesus can turn water into one, fish into his body, huh? loaves from the boy into what? Into what? Into his body. People can eat. So I'm going to give them food from above. This guy is going to make people to go and eat grass. 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 Let's see. Go ahead. And they're going to eat for this year, 2014. Huh? Huh? Okay, we are fasting, but they're going to eat the fulfillment from above. asking the question what can what has he been doing to them 
How did he convince them to this extent? What did he use on them? What is he using on them? I told you that the Libya slavery, the slavery is not just in Libya. See what a pastor, a so-called pastor, is doing with his members. These are grown-up people, no more human beings, who are well-dressed, who are beautiful, beautiful ladies, grown-up, educated people, but now they are doing this. Why? Because they have been brainwashed. This is what brainwashing can do to, for you. <laughs> this is what brainwashing and hypnotism can do for you. And you people think, oh, this is not my church. My church is not like this. Yes, your church is not like this, but... But it is the same thing. It has not gotten to this extent. If you are not careful, this will soon happen in your church. And this is how it started. Okay, we have a caller, please. Hello, yes, and family. Yes. The, here is Cecil Karis Mangwa from Cameroon. Yes, Cecil. Yes, I wanted to say that all of us can be manipulated. And actually in church, it all starts in the beginner's class. When you come to church, they have this special class they call newcomers class. Depending on the church, they have several names they give to the class. But it's all the same thing. It's to give you the doctrine of the church, to give you the rules, the do's and the don'ts of that particular church. That's where the, the, the manipulation starts. Even when you are the most clever, even when you are very clever, as you start that uh, uh, initiation class, just like a call, most churches, most churches have that initiation class. When you start that class, they start inculcating in you their belief. It, gradual, it, it gradually goes in your subconscious. And the people around you, as, uh, as DSA just said, the people around you, they, they act like policemen. They act like police, the, the police of your conscience. So as they give you those rules, Around you, everybody is telling you, make sure you believe those rules. So that, that's how it works. And as a lady, I was, uh, I was somehow a victim of, of that manipulation. Because when I came to church, I was a happy single lady. But when I started the initiation class, they started telling me, oh, if you are this age and you are not, you are not yet married, you have a spiritual husband, you have a demon, even though I was educated and I didn't believe in those things, gradually many people started doing testimony, testimonies in my environment. So I started to say, oh, meaning that they are right and I'm wrong. That's how I started to believe that I'm having a spiritual husband. And personally, I didn't even have such dreams of having intimacy in the dream. But somehow I started believing in those things despite my education, despite my psychological background, despite everything I knew out of the church and that's how and the second way they, they manipulate people apart from the initiation class is the isolation they isolate you literally because when you come to church they start telling you oh you don't go to this place you don't go with these people you don't have bad friends you don't have you don't go to drink so all those things they isolate you of your natural environment your friend that could speak sense to you they isolate you of that environment so at the end of the day you get yourself only with those people that have the same manipulated belief. So after one year, two years, three years, you are not the same person. You start believing those things. And if they ask you to jump off a building, you are more likely to do so than somebody that has not been in that environment. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Cecile, you are so right. Now, this is, now there, there is nothing bad about the new, con new, new Converse class. But the problem with new converse class is that in Africa right now, new converse class is no more about Jesus Christ. They are no more teaching you to, you know, they are no more teaching you to, to they are not attaching you to Christ. They are attaching you to the doctrine of the church. They are attacking, they are attaching you to the doctrine of the church. They are attach, attaching you to the man of God. They are attaching you to the geo. So if the doctrine of the church and the teaching of the church is attack, attaching you to Christ, it's okay. But in Africa right now, it's no more about Christ. It's about the doctrine of the church. We have a caller. About Christ, it's about the doctrine of the church. Yes, please. You have to reduce the Facebook, remove the Facebook volume so that we could hear you, sir. Who is the caller? Okay, hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, thanks for it's all about the calling from France. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 
Actually, I just want to chip in a little bit because uh, we understand, like, the other el elder sister was saying something el earlier on that the, the Bible school, when you start going to a new church, they will let you go to be believers' foundation classes. That's where the hypnotism or brainwashing starts from. Okay. And if we, we will be sincere to each other, why is it that all these so-called great geo or bishop of them, their children is not going to school in Nigeria. All their kids in America or London or whatever, but they never allow their kids to stay in Nigeria. And again, look at it. They will be calling our church, our ministry. But the moment you get to one level, yeah, I'm privileged to work with one of this with one of this ministry. I work with Winners Chapel, paid salary with you for many years in this Winners Chapel. After some time. It become David Oedipo ministry. It's not Winners Chapel International again. Now it's David Oedipo ministry. What, what's all that? You are the only one preaching that God protect and save. But you, when you are going out, you need to go with bulletproof and uh, the gun, a bulletproof car, no stuff. And myself, I have to drive my car without any protection. And it's like we've been blind. I don't know. It's just now. I'm just grateful that I get in touch with. Get on board with this, uh, your this DSA or whatever thing. So it's like when I read Bible these days, it's like I've never read it before because I'm seeing something different. It's just I just want to say thank you and continue the good job. January second, I will be part of the people that will be in, in Ukraine anyway. Thank you very much and God bless you, sir. Thank you so very much, sir. Thank you so much. Well, so so this is how hypnotism starts when you go to church. I like I said, if Believers classes now in Africa has been turned to uh, you no know, brainwashing class, and it's so sad. And there is something they call leaders. Is it leaders they call them? People they co collect the leaders, assistant pastors before they become assistant pastors and leaders or something like that. All those people are the ones leaders school, uh, the leaders classes or something they call them. Leaders class, leader. All those leadership class is no more about Christ. The only attachment that is allowed in the Bible is to attachment to God, attachment to Christ. But right now, the leadership class that people are teaching in Nigeria is about the church, it's about the doctrine, it's about man, it's about the you know denomination. It's that is why people are being brainwashed. They are not being attached to the word of God, they are not being attached to the word because the Bible said your word is the truth. Sanctify them with the truth. If the people have been attached to the truth, the truth of God would have been sanctified to find the people from lies, from deception, and people will know the difference between lies and deception. Let's continue our our note today. Okay, no, before that, let's go to the one before then. I'm compelled to address this topic because of all the stories I hear. Okay, I've already gone that, to that, right? What can, what could make people eat grass? This is the answer here, is witchcraft through pulpit hypnotism. And this hypnotism is going on everywhere in africa this hypnotism is going on hypnotism is best thought of as a series of techniques that are used over time to change a person's perception cognition emotions decision making and behavior such uh, to such an extent that they have lost their freedom of choice this is what hypnotism is they control you so much in the church let's see, we are going to see some of those videos that will confirm this that people are uh, there are techniques that people are using in churches like the first video where we saw they were shouting 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 so we have a caller okay we have a caller right here the caller will confirm this and why the call will be going on will, you know hello Let's hello who is calling please i'm from germany okay yes sir we are getting you sir Okay, um, thank you for this video tonight, but w w my point really is not even about the big churches. It's about the little guys like me, young boys who have been trained to be pastors in Nigeria. I remember when I was in Nigeria, we were always boasting of making people poor. Now I'm beginning to say, I'm, I'm even confused myself right now because most people are happy. Like my friend would tell me, I went to minister somewhere and people were falling and all the chairs fell down and all the chairs were broken. So I think that it's already gone down to people. That's how people now measure who is powerful. Like, how many people... That is, that they have been brainwashed. That is a sign that they have been brainwashed. How many people... So, I, I, I think that 
there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of emphasis to lay on how to actually minister the Holy Spirit. I think how to actually cast out demons because that is how people do it. That is what we were taught. That's what we know that if people don't fall, you are not powerful. You don't have anointing. And that is why they are doing, we are going to show another one where man is using leg and making people to fall. We could show you yesterday, but something like that we are going to show now because it shows what you are talking about that people are being made to fall. And so this man is making a show that people are falling left, right, and center. And that means he's anointed. And that those are the deception because the church, the whole church in Nigeria who are thinking like that, they have been hypnotized. That it doesn't have anything to do with falling. But when the whole church, even new generation are thinking that they have to fall, you see how much deception we have, how deep our deception has gone. Yes, yes. That's that's just what I wanted to say because it's a big is it it has spread wide even to my category of people that are 20, 25, 30. That's what we count as anointing now that okay, people must fall or something like that. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yes. So let's go back to the notes. Let's go back to the notes and you will see what we are talking about. That hypnotism, uh see the note, see the, my note here. Hypnotism is best thought of. It's a series. These are techniques that people are using. You saw in the beginning, somebody, they are shouting, screaming, hey, fire, fire, fire. Then it, another technique is that people are falling everywhere. Another technique is all those things that you are seeing is mind control. Our people's mind have been manipulated. Their minds have been, you know, controlled to the extent that somebody's perception is changed. What is perception? Perception is how somebody receives information. So right now, if you go to those churches, you, re you don't receive information like the right world, like the whole world is receiving information. Like, for example, I am talking about these problems that we're having in African church, and people are coming to abuse me and attack me and say, are you the only one who is wise? But they don't know that if go and talk to Europeans, go and talk to Asians, go and talk to Latin Americans, go and talk to people who have not been hypnotized who are Christians also, they will tell you that your perception of life is being faulted, is faulty. You are no more seeing life as normal people. You have already been brainwashed. The perception of our people have been messed up. We have a caller. Hello, dear sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the teaching. God bless you, sir. Who is calling, please? This is Moe from um, London. Yes, Moe. Yeah, I just want um, people to know that um, there are some powers, though, that is behind behind all this. Yes, um, I'm from is... Yoruba. I'm from um, Ogun State, and yes. I'm from a very small village in Ijebu. Okay. There's two different things that they use. They call one Afoshe or Mayem. Okay. And then um, I do not know how to translate it in uh, in English, but being because I am, you know, I use with my dad and some villagers so i i knew about this and then um, some pastors yeah only that people won't know some pastors goes to all this spiritual you know babalawo and get some power i knew few pastors when i was younger that would come in the middle of the night you know people from abuja people from lagos they will come to ijebu you know ijebu odo bolu and co to seek for you know, a particular power. Those are, my, those are my, church, that is my area you are mentioning, you know. I'm from that area. <laughs> so I well, know what you are talking I about. Not, I, 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 I have not, I have not you. So I know exactly what you are talking about. Okay, sir. So then when they get this power, you know, um, they will now go back and then um, there are some incantations and things they will say before they come out, you know, as a pastor. And by, you know, for instance, the issue of those people, th those that were eating grass, if you look at those videos, some of them are unconscious. They were there, but their mind are not there. They seem like they were tipsy. They seem like they, they, they are drunk or something like that, you know. They were not conscious, though they were there, but the, the, first of all, it's three things. They are being influenced by power, then they are unconscious, their mind are not conscious, and they act under the voice of the person telling them. If, when he said, go out there, go out there and hit this, all of them were running, you know, running on top of each other. This is because they are not conscious, they don't know what they are doing. A conscious mind will not even run over somebody, would they? 
they will wait for somebody to go before they go or they take their time. But they were not, so they were running and jumping over each other. So because I'm from Ijebu and I knew these things, there is no lie about it. We have, my dad has friends then that they were Babalawa and they'll be saying, do you not hear this pastor? Do you not hear this pastor? And the pastor, you know, they'll be coming under the darkness, you know, because they, don't, they wouldn't want to come in the days. They will come, you know, at night, midnight and all that. So what, God will where, help us. where are you from in Ijebu? Me, I'm from Ijebu Ife. Ijebu Ife, okay. Ife but you, Itele, but yes. you are also talking about it's a very small, Odogolu it's a very and small village. Odogolu, Ogbere. Ogbere. Yes. All those people, they have powers. And um, I can testify to it. I knew a few pastors, including all these white garments as well. You know, they go there to seek for powers, you know. So God will help us. I hope people are learning. Some are, some are on the platform and they were saying things. I just hope God will open people's eyes. Amy or more calling me or more calling me. And I knew. In fact, some of those things that they used to do it, we know it's there. You know, so but God will help us. Yeah. So you. you what do you call those things that you are talking that they used? Um, in, uh, in, in Yoruba. Yoruba yes. I will try to translate. Share. I will try yeah, to translate. Yeah, they, they call it afoshe. Afoshe, afoshe means. Wait, 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 one by one. Okay. So afoshe so, means it is it is uh it is a kind of voodoo that pastors go to the witch doctors to do for them, and what that yes. means is that they put something in their mouth, mm -hmm. and anything they say, people obey them and do those things they say. So, for those example, things, yes. all this manifestation that you see. So these people, some of them are coming under the influence of what the pastors are saying. So the pastor is saying, evil spirit, come out, or come out, or that is why all their movement, you see their body movement, the body movement of the pastor is being repeated by these people. And people are losing their senses is because they are acting under the influence of the so-called pastors. The so-called pastors... Right. They are, are not conscious. Yeah, their they, mind is gone. So they are only using their body because their mind has been chased away by some some power that is what we call hypnotism so this that is one i for sure which is the other one yeah yeah the other one is uh, my year room i could remember when we were in secondary school some of our boys that their father babalawo they, they use it to take people you know they'll just hold a young girl or a young lady they would just and the young lady will be unconscious and will just follow them and they will sleep with that person it was after everything is done that people's eyes would now like ah what, what just happened? What just happened? This person sleep with me. But normally they cannot actually, you know, you know, be sure if that person actually sleep with them or not. So it's called my year. Whatever they say is what they will be they will do. Whatever they do. If they say, I have as young as I am, I've seen a man speaking to a palm tree, you know, palm tree? Yes. And has the palm tree to fall and the palm tree fall and stood back. This is how powerful these people can be. That man has died now. It's my daddy's friend called, uh, I forgot his name now. So these are power. These are power that they are not power of God. But because people, they want to show how powerful they are, these people are seeking other power from other places. You know, just to show. You know, when they are doing miracle, if, you know, when somebody says, ah, there is a miracle there, there's a miracle there. You will want to go if you are looking for children, for instance, or you are you want this, you want anything, you want this, as you will want to go because you want miracle. But that's how they are enticing people, and that's what brings their church to be full. If you don't have a miracle in Nigeria, you don't do miracle. No one will come to your church. But I can I can tell you, in um, uh, so many village, villages that I know. That some are my in-laws, my my aunt, great auntie in-laws. They go to those villages, you know, to, to seek powers, you know. Evil powers. So 